This is my defense of Donald Trump in 2024. I focused on this in my speech in Paducah on Friday, but I'm gonna take out all the background and I wanna repeat a few things and add a few others. First, Trump issued a statement against Ron DeSantis last week that was pretty hard hitting, but he explained a few things. What were some of those things? How Florida, the sunshine state, has some natural advantages, and he also pointed out how Ron DeSantis was actually losing in a Republican primary until he endorsed him. And then he helped DeSantis become governor of Florida. And let's face it, Ron DeSantis has followed the same policies in Florida as Trump did in this country, including, and I checked this out, Ron DeSantis got vaxxed. Ron DeSantis encouraged everybody to get vaxxed. That wasn't just Trump. That includes Ron DeSantis. Then I remember, and I pulled it out and read it, Trump issued an incredible 20-page statement explaining his position on the 2020 election and what went on in these other, quote-unquote, battleground states. All mail-in ballot states. By the way, Florida's not a mail-in ballot state. Imagine that. So Trump did, he did, get you know what in 2020. Now, what did he accomplish in 2016? Are you kidding me? He beat Hillary. Look at all his policies. I'm not gonna regurgitate him. You know all his policies. And then he got us the Supreme Court. It wasn't Bush, it wasn't Reagan, it wasn't Gerald Ford, it wasn't Bush 43. It was Donald Trump's three Supreme Court appointments that got us Roe v. Wade. What if Hillary was president? We would have a Democratic Supreme Court for a generation. Think about that. Trump did that. You know what? Bush, the National Review, all these people, they're Carl Rove, Mark Tyson, all of them, they have been trying to take out Trump. See, think about it. It's not just the Democrats wanting to take out Trump. It's the Republican Party who are losers. John McCain, loser. Mitt Romney, loser. And why were they losers? Because they're wimps. They don't fight. Dinesh D'Souza, down in Pikeville, talked about this is a street fight. He's right. Newt Gingrich, street fight. Sheriff Clark, Paducah, street fight. You can't be a teacup drinking establishment, women's club party anymore. The Democrats are gangsters. You gotta fight back tough as nails, or they run over you. That's what they did to Mitt Romney and John McCain. Then we have good old Mitch McConnell. He trashed our candidates. Said candidate quality matters. Really? Then how come Fetterman won, Mitch? Trump's candidates won the primaries. Is that his fault? His candidates won the primaries. Then we got the mail-in ballot fiasco. Only the Dems win from these mail-in ballots. They're the ones that cheat. It is time not to dump Trump. You know, after all he's done for us, we're supposed to dump him, move on from him. By the way, his style got us there. By the way, I don't agree with his style all the time, but I can relate to it. And you know what? I'd rather have his style and win. Then we have Trump how he stood against all of it. My God. Let's go backwards. Mar-a-Lago raid, impeachments, the investigations, the Russia hoax, it'd be his own campaign be investigated, lawsuits anywhere and everywhere, and he's still standing. He stood up for all that. You know what? If you quote unquote dump Trump now, the Democrats win, the Republican rhinos win, Kissinger, Cheney, all the ones that are losers win. They all win. They all win. I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna do that. And by the way, Trump will beat any primary opponent. His people are not going to abandon him. I'm not gonna abandon him. And then I wanna shift to Kentucky a little bit. Since I'm running for governor, Daniel Cameron, Mike Harmon, Ryan Qualls, Savannah Maddox, Kelly Kraft have not spoken up one word in defense of Trump. I'm still Trump 2024. 
Are, are you Daniel Cameron? Are you? Hey, Daniel Cameron, I'm not giving up. Just so you know, I'm not giving up, Daniel boy. Then we have the Republican Party in 2016. The Republicans took over the legislature, both houses, in 2016. You know why? Because of Trump. Trump, Republicans won Elliott County for the first time ever. I'm at a Christmas gala with Matt Bevin, sitting at his table with Larry Forgy, Matt Bevin. And you know what? Matt Bevin acted like it was him and the candidates. No, it wasn't. It was Trump 2016. So all you Kentucky Republicans who aren't standing by Trump, he gave you both houses. Yes, he did in 2016. Pikeville just scored all kinds of victories. It's all a ripple effect of the Trump fighting. Then there's the golden rule, folks. I coin, you know, you know what the golden rule do on others as they do unto you? Let me tell you something. I came up in law of another golden rule. If the other side doesn't like it, that means it's good for you. They don't like Trump? Hmm. Why don't the Democrats like Trump? Why do the rhinos like Trump? Maybe that means under the golden rule, it's good for us. Got it? The silver lining is, folks, is that it's going to be bigger and better than ever in 2024. And folks, I'm going to tell you something. I can relate to Trump in so many ways. I mean, I get criminal BS, criminal charges filed. I fight all the power, man, and all the, all the bunch of BS. Doesn't amount to a hell of beans. And I still stand strong. And you know what? They don't let me speak at Fancy Farm. They don't let me go to the Republican donor meeting at the end of the month, October. They, there are six candidates running. They picked five, and I wasn't one of them. Imagine that. I mean, it's truly unbelievable. Screw them, folks. All of us outsiders against the establishment, regardless of the state, we have to stick together. If we stick together, we'll win. Last but not least, good old Mitch. I am the only Republican candidate calling to ditch Mitch. Only one. He's played footsie with Biden and Democrats his whole career. And he'll keep playing footsie with him. He already is. He's doing it right now. He helped them. This is the bulldog. Every dog has their day. Trump 2024.